All right, my friends, in the last video, we were able to uh, get the add action creator to work successfully. It is time for us to access the saved component right here and try to render all the saved item inside our store. So let's go ahead and do that. So the first thing first, here we have our saved list component and it's already connected to Redux and it's already grabbing our saved array from the reducer. We can go ahead and render it right here inside this div. So what I'd like to do, instead of returning saved to the client, I'm gonna remove it and add a dynamic JSS, uh, JSX expression. So the first thing that I'm gonna do, I'm gonna check for saved.length I'm gonna check for the length. If it's equal to zero, that's mean we do not have any items. So I'm gonna return a div, and this div will contain just no items found or no items saved yet. All right, any really anything that you wanna return back if there is no items inside our saved. Otherwise, if we do have items, then I'm gonna try to, we can go ahead and create a div as well right here because it makes sense to create a div. And here I'm just gonna uh, try to render them, all right? So what do you think uh, the stuff that we really need to, uh, or how we can render it? So I'm just gonna say saved.map since it's an array. And for this thing right here, I'm just gonna call it save item. It is equal to, and here what we wanna, what we wanna return in this case. I am mapping through my saved array what I'm gonna return, I'm gonna return a component called saved item. And this is the component that we are gonna create right now. So let's go ahead and do that inside our components. Right click, choose a new folder. I'm gonna call it saved item. And inside it, we are gonna put our saved item.js. All right, this is the component that I'm gonna return. Now, by the way, if we switch back right here to our final result, we can see here on the home page that we are returning these courses right here. And in our saved array, we are returning the exact same courses, the exact same markup, as well as the exact same style. So it makes sense right here to copy it and paste it. But you know, since I don't really prefer the copying and pasting, uh, I'm just gonna only uh, copy the CSS because it will take a lot of time to write the CSS code. Uh, we already did that in the React list section. So I am I keep saying the React list section. So you should that watch that one because it's really important one. At least it's it's it's, a, it's a, a discover all the basics. All right. So I'm gonna write the JSX with you. But for the CSS part, it will waste our time. So I'm gonna provide you with the CSS files. However, if we switch back, I'm gonna create a functional component like that. I'm just gonna call it saved item. And I'm gonna, what we wanna return right here. We wanna return the exact same markup that we have it right here, or that we have it right here inside our course item. We, we are going to return the exact same markup. So you can really copy it, you can follow along with me where I'm gonna write it down for you. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna um, open it right here. And first of all, what I'm gonna return, I'm gonna return a div that will present this course, one of these courses, all right? So we are gonna, uh, after that, what we are gonna have, we are gonna have this image container div as well as an image inside it. So we will have a div and I'm gonna try to give them classes immediately and I'm just gonna call it a core or a, let's call it for example, saved underscore underscore image hyphen hyphen container. Like, cause it is really big name right here. And inside this one, I'm gonna place an image tag. All right, I'm gonna give it class as well. The class name should say saved underscore underscore image. And also what we wanna write here, the source, we are gonna keep it empty. And also an alt, um, and also we are gonna keep it empty. All right, or we can just say a course image. All right, the very simple one. Below that, what we have, we have a title, we have an author, right? So below that, 
I'm just gonna say an h3 and I'm gonna say the class name should equal to uh, saved underscore underscore a title like that all right after that what we have we have the author and we can copy this or not copying and pasting it's a bad habit I'm just gonna say class name and say underscore author like that and what else we have we have also the price and here the price it is two tags not one because if you take a look here we have the span that will present the dollar sign and we have the number itself so let me show you the markup right here so here we have this div that will that will say course price all right and we have the price number and we have this span right here so keep that one in mind it is it is not a, a one tag there there are there are two tags one for the number and one for the dollar sign and we have this div that works as a rubber we are going to use it to style both of these the number as well as the dollar sign so i'm going to create a div and give it a class to say saved underscore underscore price all right and here i'm just going to add my uh, my um, you can add a price i mean span or any other tag let's go and say span I'm going to give it a class saved underscore underscore number which is a number itself and here we can place a span inside it all right and add the dollar sign because we don't need to add any style to it all right it will be just as it is a black color small font size and nothing else and we also have this thing right here the course status all right and we can um, this this thing right here this uh, course status all right it will be a bit difficult for us to add it so that's why what i'm going to do here we be, here we have some conditional rendering stuff so what i'd like to do now uh, i'm gonna add it but i'm gonna keep it empty later on we are gonna fill it when we are writing our uh, or when we are gonna display some real information so i'm just gonna say uh, span all right give it or let's leave like the, the class empty right now all right and that's it so we have added a very very basic markup for our uh, course item or the saved item and we can go ahead and uh, render it here inside our save lit save list so i'm just going to import it call it saved item from our bath should be one step back and we have the saved item like this and that should be okay but now we have a lot of issues uh, the first one is that here we are not displaying any content ignore all the issues we are gonna fix them in the next video i promise you but here inside our saved list first of all here inside our saved array we are gonna return a uh, a saved item component depending on the number of items inside our array so that's why we need a key to uniquely identify any saved item component i'm just gonna say saved uh, what is the name save item dot id there is a, a property called id in our array all right and uh, also what i'm gonna do i'm gonna pass the entire save item to the component all right so we can say save item like that so we can display all the information uh, inside our saved component using this uh, this props which is called save item so i'm gonna destructure it right here so save item hopefully that makes sense so in this video we have just created our saved item in the next video we are gonna do two things the first one is to display the information right here and also we are gonna uh, not write the css code but i'm gonna give you the the entire file you can go ahead and use it as you wish so hopefully that makes sense thank you my friends so much for watching and see you in the next one